the focus this year was, was not nearly as much junior college emphasis. There has been depth that has been established. There's been uh, position-specific recruiting that has been established. Um, and there's an identity and uh, a format and a blueprint that's also been basically established. So we were based, what we were looking for is to add young, exceptional talent um, that belongs at BYU and is qualified to BYU into existing holes that we had, fill those, and move forward. Um, we always include the missionaries that have not been with our program yet as um, something we acknowledge as part of a class. And so there will be the players that were announced this morning, and then there'll be a handful of others um, each year that are added to that that sometimes are forgotten about as they signed and then went on missions. As I looked at this particular class, um, we had needs at the offensive line to fill, and those would be play first um, positions for freshmen. So this would be three freshmen at least that could play first before missions and fill those slots. That would fit in nicely to um, our rotation of offensive linemen coming and going from missions. We certainly had quarterback needs that we think we met very, very well, as we have not only um, Cody Wilstead and Bo Hodge coming, Bo will be here, Cody will be going on his mission, but we have Tanner Mangum returning from his mission, and so we're very comfortable with what we did at quarterback. Um, there is another player within our um, recruiting class uh, in Micah Simon that played quarterback for a state championship team in Texas that we're planning on playing him at wide receiver, but when you watch his film, you'll notice that he's playing quarterback and he plays it really, really well as a dual threat type of quarterback that has great speed. So that addresses the quarterback position. At running back, we also added depth um, as well as talent when we consider now Squally Canada and Charles West. So that handles the running back spots at wide receiver, Akile Davis and Micah Simon. Um, we think do a nice job at filling in that particular spot. Um, and then really, if you look offensively with Taysom then coming back and Jamal coming back, we have a strong offense returning. From a defensive perspective, um, there's always a need to continue to reinforce our offensive front, especially at nose tackle and nose tackle types that are fast, athletic, quick, and strong. We did that in a number of ways. Um, the easiest one to identify, uh, Tavita Maunga, is he came from the same high school as Tyler Cook from a year ago, about 330 pounds currently, but he helps us at nose tackle. And when in doubt, we prefer nose tackle types in 3-4 defense. But we also added a nose tackle. Well, we're not sure he's a nose tackle yet. At 6'7", 410 pounds, an uh, uh, individual that doesn't know the rules of the game, has never played the game, uh, we sent recruiters to uh, Tonga, Samoa, Fiji, and New Zealand two years ago. And uh, we found, Coach Kafusi found, um, Motakaya Longi. I watched him playing a pickup game of basketball since they don't play football there. And at that, he was heavier then. Um, he's now a stealthy 4'10", um, but saw, thought he was light on his feet and could play football. And so um, when you talk about defensive line and then adding um, to that David Louie, we've added size, nose tackle types, and strength at the defensive line spot. We've added secondary help with not only Zane Anderson, but Trevor Brent, but Riley Burt, but Dion Lake and Eric Takanaka, and we needed depth at those positions with good players. And then linebacker is the easiest position to recruit for us. Um, and when you look at Devin Kafusi, Jeremiah Iremia, Will Sedwick, and then um, probably the most highly recruited of the entire class, Mika Tafua, um, who's a fantastic player, then we address linebacker needs. And so I don't think there's a specific need that we did not meet. And so when you consider recruiting class, what happened? Um, each position I think we recruited well to, not only in terms of quality of player, but depth and number of players that we, we uh, got at each spot.